Number 69, identify the type of crystalline solid, whether it's going to be a metallic or a network covalent or ionic or molecular crystalline solid that's formed by each of the following substances. And in this case, we have N2. Okay, so what is N2 when it solidifies or makes a crystalline solid? Well, there's four types of crystalline solids, which I wrote down here. This is kind of like a cheat sheet to kind of go over as to the different types of crystalline solids. Let's just work from left to right just to figure out what is N2. All right, so is this a metallic crystalline solid? Well, just know that the word metal is in the word metallic. So in order to be a metallic crystalline solid, you just need to see a single one metal. But um, I'm looking here, N2 and nitrogen on the periodic table is purely a non-metal. So no metals here. So this can't possibly be a metallic crystalline solid. So I move on to the next one. Ionic crystalline solids come from ionic compounds. And remember, an ionic compound is either a metal plus a non-metal, or if you start seeing polyatomic ions. Once again, I have no metal here, and N2 is not a polyatomic, so can't possibly be ionic. Let's move to the next one. Molecular crystalline solids are coming from the molecule. And remember, molecules, or molecular, always comes from covalent compounds. And covalent compounds are always about the nonmetals, right? And in this case, I have nitrogen. It's a nonmetal, so it could be molecular. But now let's just make sure that it's not a network covalent. A network covalent crystalline solid is when you just see a single nonmetal. Now you might say, well, yeah, we have it here, right? I, I just see nitrogen. It's only one element. But how many do you have of them? You have two of them. If it was a network covalent, you would just see an N, for example, or you would just see a carbon. But once you smack on that you have two of them or three of them or whatever you have of them, it's not a network covalent anymore, except when you start seeing silicon. But since there's multiple, we're going back to molecular. So N2 is a molecular crystalline solid. And box it off. Done with this one. What'd you think? All righty then. <laughs> Who's that? All righty then. I think I did it okay, but let's see. You be the judge. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel. Um, love helping you guys out in your tests and quizzes. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon, all right? Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.